Hello, this is Jamie and I'm with my dad. Say hello, dad. Hi. And he got an iPod for Christmas. Yeah. And what were you asking me? Yeah, I want to know how to put things onto it, especially video. Yeah, he wants we want to know how to download or capture clips from YouTube and then organize and play them on iTunes. So when you download or capture a clip from YouTube, you're effectively taking it from the internet and storing it on your own hard drive. Yeah, I understand. So that means that you're playing it from your computer and not from the internet. So you're not really relying on the, uh, the connection and that kind of thing. So it's much more... That means if somebody takes it off YouTube, you've still got it stored on your computer. So here we've got YouTube. We like this clip, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> Sneezing Panda. It's our favourite one. <laughs> so I use this clip in class for a what happens next activity. Another problem about using YouTube in the classroom. Look at this. When I try and find a particular part of the clip with the slider at the bottom, it just doesn't let me. You see that? I don't know why that is, but it's the slider is just very ineffective. Yeah, see that? Does that make it easier when you go on the computer then? Well, here's one I prepared earlier. I downloaded this panda clip already. I've got it on my computer. Okay. And I can move the slider to any part of the clip that I want and that's a really <laughs> a really good sneeze in slow motion <laughs> and that's an advantage of having it on your computer just to test this this is a file on my computer a video file do you know what it's called yeah it's an mp4 yeah an mp4 yeah there's different types of video file but this is the best one for us because it's compatible with iTunes and iPods yeah. mp3 are audio files just audio yeah yeah The first thing we want to do is to copy the address of the YouTube clip that we want. So let's highlight the address at the top of the screen. Right click and then select cut or copy. The next thing we want to do is go to one of these programs. There's loads of these programs online that let you download the clips from YouTube. My favourite one is called SaveVid.com. Okay, so this is a, a website that enables you to convert YouTube from the internet to your hard drive on your computer. Yeah, that's it. And you don't have to download this or anything, and you don't even need to give them your email like you do another, with other ones. Um, and the videos that you get from this are very good quality, and you get them very quickly. Um, there's a window on this site that says paste the address of the video you want to download. I'm going to do that. I'm going to right click and then left click on paste. So that's the address of the YouTube clip that I want to copy. And then at the right of the window, there's a button that says download. And press that. And this program, SaveVid, gives us two possibilities. We can download an FLV, which we don't want to do, or we can download an MP4, that's for us. Yeah, so that's the one that's compatible with iTunes. MP4, that's right. right. So let's click on download MP4, and then we're given the option to save to disk. Um, press OK and this saves it automatically to my desktop so let's close this down so there's the clip it's on my desktop open it up and play it now that's it stored on my computer 
So as I was saying, I use this particular clip for a what happens next activity. But if I was going to use it on YouTube, and I'm asking my students what happens next, there's a problem. Do you see the problem? This um, is it on YouTube. What happens next? I'm oh, sorry, your mum's distracted me. That's all right. Mum's just come in the room to get some booze. Well, it, it, <laughs> look, it says Sneezing Panda right at the top. That's going to give it away, isn't it? So I'm going to rename it Panda Surprise. Sounds like a dessert. <laughs> yum, yum. So that's part one, how to download or capture YouTube clips. So here is iTunes. You can download iTunes for free. Anyone can download it for free from the Apple website, www.apple.com. You don't have to have an Apple to use iTunes. It's very useful for anyone that wants to organize their YouTube clips on their computer. So here on the left hand side, you see where it says music? Yeah, I see but that. just under it says movies. movies. So if I click on movies, you see, see all of my YouTube clips. I think I've got about a hundred of them stored in my computer. Now the great thing, especially for teachers, about having all of your YouTube clips on your computer is that you can find what you need very, very quickly. Now do you know the search window on your iTunes for music? Yeah, I know that. Well, it's exactly the same okay. for video. Okay. I want to find the panda clip, so I type in panda. There he is. Yeah, but you um, renamed it Panda Surprise, and, and that's only panda. Well, well that's a, a good point. You see, I already had the clip on my computer. It was called panda. Okay. I downloaded it again, uh -huh. and so I've got the same clip on my hard drive twice. Once it's called Panda, and once it's called Panda Surprise. Okay. And as we've seen, the Panda is being found on iTunes, but Panda Surprise is not. So I have a folder which I've named MP4 video files for obvious reasons. Okay. And you can keep this folder wherever you like on your computer. So let's open that up. And what I'm going to do is add Panda Surprise to that folder. All right? I see. Now we have to get it onto iTunes. So let's go back to iTunes, up to File, click on File, then add File to Library. Now my MP4 video file folder automatically opens up at this point. I've got to find a new clip which is called Panda, Panda Surprise. Surprise. There it is. So then click on Open or Abrir if you're computers in Spanish. So let's just check that. P-A-N and before you finish the word. Panda Surprise and Panda. Let's double click on Panda Surprise and we can play it and if we want to close mm -hmm. it we move the mouse around and this little arrow on the top right hand appears and that's it closed down. And I think that's everything except that when you come to connect your iPod to your computer to update it or to sync it as they call it, uh -huh. your video files will be transferred to your iPod. Automatically? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Dad, thanks for that. I enjoyed that. It's good. It's been fun, hasn't it? Yeah, let's go get a beer. We've got a beer already. What are you talking oh, sorry, about? I forgot that. Bye. Bye.